Welcome back to the Andrew Tate Show by GSMC Sports. Before the break, we were talking about Major League Baseball. First, we're talking about uh, the the league not moving forward with robot umpires in the 2025 season, and then talking about the Yankees payroll. We are moving into football now. Uh, let me get that set up. One second. Transitions. That's, transitions. that's, that's, that's the issue. <laughs> I have a theme song to play while I'm doing oh. transitions. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell's recent discussion about the potential transition to an 18-game regular season have ignited a flurry of debates and speculation within the league and among fans alike. The prospect of extend, extending the regular season, a move that would fundamentally alter the dynamics of the NFL schedule, has garnered both support and skepticism from various stakeholders. Reports from NFL Network's Judy Batista suggested that discussions between league officials and the NFL Players Association regarding the 18-game season have already begun, indicating a proactive approach to addressing the matter. Goodell's comments following the NFL spring meeting further underscored the seriousness with which the league is considering this significant change. One of the primary concerns surrounding the potential transition is the impact on player safety. Goodell has ex emphasized the importance of ensuring the well-being of NFL players amidst discussions of expanding the regular season. With football being an inherently physical sport, the addition of two more regular season games raises questions about the increased risk of injuries and player fatigue over an extended season. Furthermore, logistical considerations such as scheduling and revenue distribution remain key points of contention. While an extended regular season could mean additional revenue for both players and teams, negotiations between the league and the NFLPA are necessary to address the financial implications and ensure equitable distribution of profits. Goodell's remarks during the spring meeting highlighted the league's commitment to maintaining the quality of the game while exploring opportunities for growth and expansion. However, any decision to move forward with an 18-game regular season would require careful consideration of various factors, including player welfare, fan engagement, and the overall integrity of the sport. As discussions evolve and negotiations progress, the future of NFL seasons hangs in the balance. The league's willingness to engage in open dialogue with players and stakeholders signals a proactive approach to, the addressing, to addressing the evolving needs of the sport while upholding its core values. In summary, while the prospect of an 18-game regular season presents both opportunities and challenges for the NFL, it remains a topic of considerable debate and deliberation within the league. The outcome of these discussions will undoubtedly shape the future of football and redefine the NFL landscape for years to come. So, Tate, definitely pros and cons to moving to an 18-game season. Give me your thoughts. You're not getting any cons from me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting an 18 game season. I did not want a 17 game season. I, the NFL wanted to go to 18 games and the players really pushed back on it. And part of that was dealing with player safety. And that was like the big battle. And I didn't understand they're talking about more games and things of that nature. First off, they need to do away with the preseason games. Preseason games, you know, charging. If you're a fan and you buy season tickets, you have to buy uh, the preseason games as well. I don't think teams need a preseason. Uh, you, have you have OTAs, you have training camp, you have everything else. Uh, it's been proven that you don't really need as many, you don't need as many of the preseason games get rid of them completely but then move it to an 18 game season i love i've always loved the 18 game season not only do i think it should be an 18 game season i would like to see the season extended a little bit more i would like to see an 18 game season with each team getting three bye weeks so that you know, after everyone, after the first four weeks of the season, there's a bye week for some of the teams in the following week, another bye week. Then after week eight, you have a bye week and then another bye week after week 12, rolling into ending the season. When you talk about player safety, 
and completing a season and, and, and making a healthy season. I would like to, uh, having three extra, having three bye weeks and extending the season a little bit longer makes it so it's enjoyable to the fans. You address player safety. You give players a chance to get healthy uh, throughout the season. It's great for television partners. It's great for the league. It benefits everyone. Uh, and most people that are hardcore fans are saying, how about, an, you know, one extra game a year? We got to, you know, move to 17. The world didn't end. Moving to 18, I think, would be absolutely perfect. Uh, for everyone that says, you know, the rule, I mean, all the records are going to fall. The records are going to fall. Guys, guess what? The records are going to fall anyway. It's a new NFL. So all those passing records from a long time ago, they're done. They're going to be done. Very soon, all of those records that you're used, that you're, you're, you're looking at, are going to fall. Then you've already added in a 17th game. If you're worried about records, an extra, that 17th game is going to make is already in place. Make it 18. Give teams a three, uh, a three, uh, about three buys in throughout the year. I think you would end up with a much better game, a much better situation uh, for players, uh, owners, uh, league partners. It benefits everyone to do this. And you, you know you not only you not only are you adding an extra game, but adding those extra bye weeks, I think is huge. Um, I would be, I was against the seventeenth game if they didn't add more bye weeks, and they didn't. They just gave it. They just one bye week and an extra game. I think that's not enough. That's where, that's where I push back on this. There should be more bye weeks in the, in the NFL season just because after the, you, if you've ever worked with an NFL team or been around an NFL team, and I have, after the first three weeks of the season, everyone in the NFL is injured. After the first three weeks of the season, teams are, players are struggling. Having that bye week after week four gives gives teams you sp you break that up uh, between over two weeks, but you have a bye week then. Then you play another four games, then another bye week, and then four more to finish the season. I think would make the union happy. It would make broadcast partners happy. It would make advertisers happy. Uh, it would players everyone it's a better situation by doing that I care more about adding more bye weeks than anything do you think that they are going to eventually move to this 18 game season yes yes I they they will move to 18 games uh I don't think that you know no you don't hear anything about adding bye weeks what they're what they're looking at is the NFL is more about we don't want to lose revenue so what they're looking at is going to an 18 game season cutting out more of the preseason because everyone kind of agrees preseason games you can get the same amount of reps get the same information and OTAs and training camp that you don't need to have these games inner squad inner squad scrimmages and things of that nature so the NFL will eventually do away with the preseason games and, and go down to one or no preseason games and then eventually go to an 18 game season. But isn't going to an 18 game season without adding bye weeks potentially kind of shooting themselves in the foot? Uh, I don't think the NFL looks at it that way. Uh, everyone, when you look at players, Players and unions, their big issue with adding, going from a 16-game season to a 17-game to a season was player safety. The big issue and the big pushback with going from a 17-game season to an 18-game season is player safety. But 
when the league looks at adding that extra game and television partners look at adding that extra game, everyone looks at not player safety, how much money can be brought in. That's been the issue. My approach by adding the extra bye weeks addresses player safety, but also addresses what the owners want as well. There's not enough focus. There's too much focus on the fact that they're going to 18 games with everyone not paying attention to what the players uh, in the union want, which is more player safety. But and the the I kind of feel like the NFL's approach to dealing with that is giving a larger piece of the pie, making sure the players make more money without addressing player safety uh, when it goes to more games. In this way, address everyone can get what they want. Address player safety and address getting to that 18 games, which every which everyone in the front office really wants. All right. Well, thank you for that. Uh, we are going to go ahead and take another break. When we come back, moving away from sports and um, you don't normally think about a, a product review as being all of that entertaining, but we are going to share one with you that will hopefully you'll find entertaining. So <laughs> let's go ahead and take that break and we will be right back. <laughs> 